How's it going today guys? Trucks and Water here and welcome to the vlog. Not sure where this video is going to go honestly, but I do want to give a huge congratulations and shout out to my buddy Hunter that you know from the videos. He's been in a ton of them. One of my best friends since like middle school and his wife Ivy, they just gave birth to their first child as a baby boy. Everybody's healthy, happy, safe, thank the Lord. I'm so excited for um, him and Ivy. It's a he's adorable. The baby's absolutely adorable and I'm super excited for them. So congratulations guys. But anyways, not sure where this ball is gonna go. I'm heading into Knoxville. I gotta do run some errands and all that fun jazz to take you along with me and uh we'll see where we go from there. I just got out of cycle gear over here. I got Hunter's and Ivy's new little baby boy um two presents. Um first one's a Kawasaki race team hat. And this is the second one is a Suzuki hat because um, uh, Hunter is a fan of Kawasaki uh, dirt bikes and Suzuki four wheelers and stuff like that. So um, I got him just, you know, a little something for that kid. It was very painful for me to buy those because I am a Honda guy and that was uh, kind of painful. Not going to lie, sitting there paying for that. But, you know, it's for his kids. So hopefully he'll enjoy it. Hopefully when he gets old enough to ride dirt bikes and stuff, I can like convert him, maybe like steer him away towards Honda, but it's just a joke guys. But anyways, we'll see where we go from here. So I've got the all my pressure washing stuff out, my two bucket method, all my stuff. I got my honeydew snow foam ready to go with my Icon Iron degreaser and contaminant for um, my wheels and stuff like that to get off brake dust and whatnot. Get the truck cleaned up because uh, with it being now almost summertime and springtime, bugs galore and bird crap galore. Hate birds, hate bugs, but you know, it's part of it. But I'm just glad it's sunny, 75, almost 80 degrees out. So uh, yeah, let's do this. Don't judge me. So uh, my truck's completely cleaned off, so we're in, we got mom's truck out, the Tacoma you saw from the previous vlog. Thank you all for so much for the support on this. Y'all loved it, and I can't thank you all enough for it. She loves it, but it's kind of gross. So I'm gonna, I've got soap left over and stuff like that. Might as well get it cleaned off, get it looking good, because it definitely needs it. Well, mom's truck is done. It looks really, really good. That paint cleans up so good on these Toyotas. I mean, granted, it's brand new, so it should, but it looks really, really good. Those wheels are the most pain in the butt to clean though. God, they suck. But other than that, looks really good. We are now at the garage. I'm going to put a coat of wax on her after I get done washing her. Even about a month after I put on this Lucid Spray Shine Synthetic Spray Wax, it still beads water and falls right off. Now granted, I do maintenance it. I do use a uh, waterless washing wax that you can use on a vehicle to um, just kind of touch stuff up. So I do do that, so that does help. But it's still pretty insane how that that wax right there does i mean it's pretty legit so if you haven't gotten yourself any guys might want to go pick that up i picked up mine on amazon truck is all detailed up it's got the wax on it i just cleaned off the windows and then coated them with that hydro view ceramic glass coat cleaner and protectant and it does 100 percent work guys like i showed in the previous vlog but to prove my point even more when i was washing the truck and i was like spray foaming it when it hit the windows it just bead right off like this stuff that stuff is no freaking joke so getting the truck ready i think tomorrow i'm gonna head out to um uh cars and coffee over in knoxville it's by west town mall or actually west town mall parking lot uh haven't gone there in a couple of years they am gonna go there do some film work meet up with people talk to people stuff like that bring the truck out so yeah it should be good but uh it looks so good, but I'm running out of microfiber towels, um, so I could probably go get some more of those, but she's looking really good, really, really good. Quick question for you guys, because I had a guy tell me that owns the gray OBS around where I live, but I came around the top of my head. How much spacer do I need in the rear to match the front since the Chevy tracks in the front are wider than the rear so I can match the um, the width wise? I can't remember off the top of my head. They're 20 by 12 to negative 44 offset. So if you could all help me out with that, I would greatly appreciate that. We are rolling out to Cars and Coffee right now. It's like 7.40 in the morning. I'm a little bit late, but it is what it is. But 
we're rolling out. We're gonna head there, see what's up, meet up with some people, and uh, so we're gonna have a good time. The absolute irony, one of my buddies with his OBS is now right in front of me. He just got on right at the exit. I just passed heading to West Knox to uh, to Cars and Coffee. That's that's pretty funny, not gonna lie. That's that's pretty funny. The timing was impeccable. We didn't even plan, we did not plan it out so at all, which is hilarious, so. this year's great time good seeing a lot of you all again you all are great thank you all for the support and kind of glad to see me back because i'm glad to be back so we're gonna head out of here not sure how the rest of the day is gonna go might head out and hang out with the buddies a little bit and stuff like that so we'll see we will see it is tuesday after uh cars and coffee um i'm up here at the farm it is a gorgeous afternoon now um this morning was absolute crap it was like raining foggy nasty disgusting but the only thing is is that it is if siri wouldn't stop uh you know go on the watch um it's like 60 degrees like the temperature went from like 80 something yesterday to like 60 so uh that's the weather currently situation right now in east tennessee and i got my hair got my locks chopped thought about growing out a mullet this year but uh Mullets and hard hats don't go very well together, especially my how thick my hair is. They get really, really hot in a hard hat. And um, I don't want to put most women to shame because when I do grow up my hair, it waves and curls like a natural like curl. Rather not put uh, women to shame. But jokes aside, other than that, Chuck's doing great. She's just, you know, being typical Ashley, cleaned her, put a good coat of wax on her again, um, shined up the tire, stuff like that. Um, that wax is working fantastic of beating the water off of it keeping her clean even though it's weird weird weather except for the pollen now gets all over the vehicle which sucks but anyways i digress can't win can't can't win at all uh, i do want to do a quick thank you all though for the recent support on the channel i know i've been mia for almost two years kind of about a year no about a year and a half and um and I'm, I just want to say I'm sorry, guys. I've had a lot of you in the past year, especially, see me out in public, come up to me, tell me how much you appreciate the channel, how much you appreciate me, the build and everything, asking why I've stopped kind of making videos. And to be honest, guys, I was in a pretty good rut. Um, I, a lot of things have happened in my life in probably the last two years, I would say. About, yeah, about two years. Um... And I got into, I'm not, I'm not saying I was depressed, I wasn't depressed, but I was in a rut. I was in a massive rut. And I got to the point with the truck where I couldn't really do much to her without pressing forward without compromising the drivability because it's my, you know, kind of my daily. Hopefully a new truck will be coming soon, guys. Like I said, I'm not going to give you more details on that because I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch. I want to make sure all the financing goes right, the bank goes right, you know, everything of that nature goes 100% right. Um, so I'm not going to count my chickens before they hatch. I think you all can understand that. But yeah, I was in I was in a rut. I, um, I started questioning a lot of things, questioning this is what I really wanted to do. Had a couple hard jobs back to back. Um, it took a toll on me. Some personal issues that took a toll on me. And it's not an excuse, guys. Like, I'm not saying this is an excuse or feel sorry for me or whatsoever because I don't want you all. Um, but a lot of you have encouraged me. And, you know, the funny thing is, and I'm not saying I am famous. I am nowhere near famous. I'm a dude that talks about trucks on the internet, on YouTube. So, take that with a grain of salt. Over an OBS Chevrolet, I don't have anything like a Platinum F250 or some kind of full-blown race Duramax or, you know, something like that. Not yet, though. Um, the goal's right there. Um, but a lot of you have contacted me, whether you're like 10 years younger than me 
or 40 years older than me, which was insane, actually. And a lot of y'all looked up to me. And, you know, like, I was a big inspiration in your life of following your dreams or doing a build or, heck, even getting into, um, like, my Honda CRF 250R dirt bike build I have that I'm pretty much done with. Um, and then, of course, the quad on the uh, TW, TW After Hours channel. If y'all haven't followed that yet, I'll be popping up for that. Go follow my second channel. A lot of, like, a lot of people were, like, looking up to me and saying how much I inspired them and stuff. And I had one recently, and you know, it, or actually it was one of my best friends, I'm not going to name who it is, actually it was, actually all three of them, looked at me and said, like, you, you haven't been you, like, this isn't Josh that we remember, and what, I mean, don't get me wrong, life gets in the way, stress happens, you know, we're all growing up, we're all trying to be adults here in this freaked up world, but... Like, you were always the guy that chased your dreams and chased after what you want to do and inspired a bunch of people. You don't, people don't realize how much other people look up to them. Like, you don't realize who in your life looks up to you, that you have no idea that your attitude, your influence, your, your kindness, like, you all have no idea in your life who looks up to you to that. So, and when you have that mindset, it changes the way you look at a lot of things. And I don't, I don't want to try to ramble on, guys, but I just want to kind of give you all, a, like, a kind of clarity. Um, and, yeah, so I just want to say I'm sorry that I haven't been here. Like I said, I'm going to try to be making as many videos as I can. Some weeks I'll have more content than others. But make sure you keep up on my Instagram, guys. I do a bunch of stuff on there. I truck at trucks underscore and underscore water make sure you keep up with th that guys so that's kind of the gist of it i can't go into much detail because i don't want to um there's just a lot of stuff that doesn't need to be said on the internet basically um it's privacy for other people and stuff like that and i respect that so if y'all enjoyed this little vlog i hope y'all did enjoy it if you like the video leave a like new channel please subscribe join the trucks and water family we're constantly growing changing and trying new and better things i hope you all have a great day and remember, never give up on your dreams.